welcome back to my channel um, and for the ones that are new my name is Marie and welcome um, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers that I got um, within the past few days I am so excited yes it is a small amount but they always say to celebrate the small the little the small milestones which I was not expecting my first video to be to have such a good outcome um i went in with the very low expectations and i ended up you know getting quite a bit of views in the 200s and i gained about 24 subscribers from that video so i just want to say thank you for our, all the support and thank you to everyone that subscribed um moving on Today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, um, I have decided to get a mommy makeover. No, this was not something that I randomly decided the last few days. This is something that my husband and I have been talking about for almost eight months now. Been extremely, extremely supportive ever since I brought it up to him. Um, I am not doing this to lose weight. I don't think this is the correct way to go for losing weight. I am actually at my baby pre-weight, which is 135. I, that's what I was when I had my second baby, and that's what I was when I had my th my third baby. Um, I am happy with my weight, but there are some areas that have changed, and that comes with, you know, being pregnant three times. And if I can change it why not i don't have excess skin the main thing for me is that i got all my babies were really big um i at some point with my last one i waited 185 the night before i gave birth so and he was my son was 10 pounds 10 pounds no lies he was nine pounds and five ounces like he was a big baby then my entire pregnancy i was like he's gonna be seven pounds i kept telling my husband he's not gonna be big he's just gonna be a very small baby no nope. i gave birth to that little boy naturally no i was not planning on it it happened he was ready to come and it was too late to get an epidural and yeah sorry i kind of went off topic here <laughs> um but yeah my skin and my stomach area had kind of really stretched out and like i mentioned on my very first video and if you haven't seen that one please go back and um take a look i like to run so i enjoy doing cardio i am an active person um I I don't do weights. I'm mainly more cardio, more running. Um, but that was my way of getting back to to my baby pre-way. And now I'm here, and I'm just still not happy with my stomach area. Um, so I will be getting a what is called a abdomen muscle repair, and then I also be getting a tummy tuck. Um, which is oh, I when you do the tummy tuck, they kind of include the abdomen muscle repair with that. Um, I am getting a breast lift, but I will not be getting implants. Um, this is something that I have decided. That's just my personal preference. Kudos to all the ladies that have gone a breast augmentation but for me um i am happy with my size i i'm i'm not looking to have to be bigger i'm just not i'm just happy with my size they're just after breastfeeding two babies back to back total of almost two years and a half of breastfeeding they're just kind of like what can i say deflated <laughs> um and i just want them to be perky again i mean that's just 
that's just something I want. And with a lift, um, we'll get that outcome. My surgeon did say that if I really, really wanted to go bigger, I could um, go back later on this year, but that is not something that is on the books for me. That is not something that I want to do. So I'm just going to stick with my lift and be happy with that. Um, I know this is not something that everyone agrees on and I am sorry if this video is not for you, but this is just something that I personally decided to do um, for myself, um, you know, being comfortable in your own skin. I have had my tummy this way since I was 15 years old. I had my my first daughter at a very young age and I have been looking at my tummy and throughout my other two pregnancies it just kind of gotten worse and it's going to be 15 years that I have had this like this and I'm just excited to, to get it done. Um, I'm excited to for this. Um, I'm just so grateful that my husband has been super supportive of me doing this from day one He was like if you want to get this done um, I support you. He's like I'm not against it. So I have been doing the research for almost eight months eight months now I have watched many YouTube videos. I have gone on Google. I have seen um, talk or research different surgeons in my area at first i was really sad that i was going to get it done in georgia which is was in the atlanta area but i ended up changing my mind and going with dr beckinston in birmingham alabama i called multiple places and i don't know there was something about his office and his um staff that really brought me to him um the way from call number one the way that they care about me the way that they treated me it was just like awesome 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 customer service from day one was like my thing like i i loved it and when i finally got to have my console with him and i got to sit with him my number one thing that really got my attention was the way that he was asking about my personal life about my husband about my kids what do we do for a living like how he was just not he didn't make me feel that i was just another next week is my pre-op appointment which I am planning to vlog that day and share with you guys how my pre-op goes. And then the following week is surgery day. Yay! Um, so I'm planning to have my husband vlog that when I'm having surgery, like not while I'm having surgery, but you know, before surgery and stuff. So I wanna share with you guys, but I'm not gonna also be sharing everything out there. <laughs> Um, there are certain things that I do want to share um, but I want to share with you guys today how my belly looks so you guys can see a little bit of what I'm talking about um, and I'm gonna add a picture right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about um, but yeah guys I'm just so excited for to get this procedure I'm excited to bring you guys along this journey while I get this procedure I know everybody's different and recovery time is looks different for every single woman for everyone that for everyone that gets it done um, I'm just praying that mine goes smooth and there is no complications guys so that's it for this video um, I will keep you guys posted um, and if you want to follow along more um, you can go ahead and follow me on my Instagram but next week I will be posting on Friday again and that's when my pre-op is so I'll probably post later on Friday because I have to go to my pre-op during the morning um, and then I have to get home and edit the video and all that fun stuff. So you'll see the video for me, but it'll probably be later on on Friday. Um, I'll probably post a few short clips and stuff on Instagram. So if you want to go ahead and, and follow me there, 
um, you are more than welcome to do so and just don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching and see you until the next video bye